Hey, Charlie here. Just want to make sure you understand what I want in this assignment. Let's uh, take a quick look at a working version of it. I'll go ahead and start it. NPM start. And then we'll come over here. We'll go to our local host. It comes up here. See the title's been changed. We've got everything referencing scientists. We'll click the load scientist button. Marie gets loaded. We'll add in a new scientist. Mm. And then just to test our work, we'll go ahead and do a refresh here. Load, you can see it, our change stayed. If we iterate here, we can change um, which item is selected in here. And then if we want to edit it, we can do an update here. And you can see the change is reflected immediately when we push the update button. And again, if we do a refresh um, and do load scientist, you can see our change stayed. And if we come here and we go um, to delete the scientist, it gets deleted. Again, if we do the refresh to check our work, it was truly deleted. And uh, here, if we wanted to do an update right when things first load, we can do an update. You can see it's reflected. And if we do a load, you can see that it stayed. If you come over here, um, let's just do one last thing really quickly here. Um, we add the scientist. Then we come over to the database and do a refresh, and there's our scientist. And if we come back here and we do a delete, and we come back over here and we do a refresh, we see that the scientist is gone. So it's being reflected in the database as well as here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, thank you very much. Have fun with this assignment as always.